Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more StarCraft 2 A Legacy of the Void. Today it is time to play a little bit more co-op and today I'm going to be playing this week's mutation mission on the Brutal Difficulty. With me is Sardak who is going to be a maxed out co-op level player and the rules apparently are rather difficult so I haven't actually read them yet so here we go. It's going to be called Perfect Storm. Slains' climate is as merciless as the Taldarim. Visibility is reduced as a titanic storm rages across the killing fields, freezing its victims solid and sweeping them up into dangerous twisters. Brave the elements and win the challenge at all costs. Okay then, uh, that sounds a little difficult. Anyway, it is going to be the chain of ascension. Storm clouds move across the map, damaging and freezing player units in their path. Okay. We got twisters, tornadoes move across the map, damaging and knocking back player units in their paths. Okay, and then we also have short-sighted player units and structures have reduced vision range. I think it is time to go ahead and bust out Abathur once again. I'm gonna be grouping up right here with Sardak, who apparently has decided to go for Zagara. He's gonna have level 90 mastery. As far as my mastery points go, however, I decided to spend them on ment healing, biomass recovery chance, as well as the structure morph and evolution rate. I think we're just gonna have to see exactly what happens. I am first ascendant Janara. And I have been challenged to Rakshir by a faction of Taldarine who foolishly remain loyal to Amon. The Dark God bolsters their champion's strength. Send both of your armies to my side to bolster mine. I will emerge victorious. So, on the minimap, there's gonna be all kinds of twisters and tornadoes and whatnot everywhere. This is gonna get rather difficult rather fast. We will need to make sure we can secure our expansion, but I'm not entirely sure if those twisters and tornadoes and whatnot are actually going to be able to get over there in time as well. Now, I am going to be playing a little bit of um, a little bit of Abathur here, so that does mean that we'll have a uh, a pretty powerful army if we manage to get it to the later stages in the game. But initially here, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Now, obviously Zagara is going to be a very fast place or fast paced kind of hero. And look at that, even my toxic nests. Oh, come on, really? Even my toxic nests are gonna be hit by the tornadoes? Okay, that's unfortunate. Anyway, I was gonna say, like, I think it's gonna be pretty good for us to spread a whole bunch of creep. Because she's gonna be able to use that in the early game to really quickly, you know, get their armies out and whatnot. And I'm gonna be able to then tech up to a stronger army and hopefully get to a later stage. Where we're gonna have Brutalisk and all that kind of shenanigans. Although, I'm not sure if we're ever gonna get there. I may have to focus on some more... You know, some more uh, basic armies here initially instead. We'll have to make sure that we get roaches, obviously. I'm also gonna go ahead and get up to a lair ASAP here so we can start making those Ravagers. Ravagers are going to be extremely good. I'm getting a single roach right now, so we can put that next to Janara and hopefully, you know, start triggering the advancement. But look at the minimap. There are a ton of dang storms everywhere. I thought it would be a good idea to put down as many of these toxic nests as possible, and while they will explode some units. This is gonna be rather tricky. This is actually gonna get tricky real fast. I think we may have to very well focus on a, uh, a, a like, relatively low-tech army here in the early stages. Both of your armies must support me, commanders. No half measures. Move them near me at once. Okay. I think we're gonna have to make sure that we, um, obviously, um, you know, keep escorting her. Don't trigger the first ones. We gotta make sure we're just here, really. We gotta make sure we don't trigger the very first pack, though. That's gonna be right over there. Are seething with Amon's power. Slay them so they cannot support their champion. Okay. So, I'm gonna get the upgrades going here as early as we possibly can. And I'm also gonna try and start getting some Ravagers, which should be really helpful. Obviously, this could get really difficult, though, because obviously, if we, like, if we don't watch out, everything is gonna freeze. Look at those links. Those links just die. Those links just get absolutely murdered. I'm gonna get my Roach Ravager upgrades right now, but look at the size of those storms. They're literally everywhere. I wonder if going for a big army is even gonna be helpful, but Zagara's units are gonna be good, but I'm a little worried for, uh... I'm a little worried for my army as it's gonna need some movement, right? Like, my army is gonna be rather... just like the clump of it is gonna be rather big. Okay, so I got five Toxic Nests right now to put down. But here we go. Enemy attack imminent. Prepare defenses. 
Okay, so Gara is out though, so we should be relatively okay here. Gonna go ahead and make sure that we, uh, you know, get our expansion going soon. And I'm gonna also build some Swarm Queens, just because those are gonna help aid my units to hopefully heal them up. It does look like Storm is gonna be right in the middle of our expansion as well, which is like... A little bit worse than I had anticipated. Okay. I have to try and make sure that we loot as much of this biomass here as possible. Oh no, guys. Guys, don't do that. Come on, guys. Don't go from one storm into the other. Oh, man. That's not... That's not good. The vision range reduction is a pain as well. That's why I'm gonna be able to, you know, shoot things down rather easily. It's looking a little scary. Already, and this is not even like remotely maxed out yet. I'm trying to get a drone over here so we can get the expansion going. I think the fact that they're a Zerg though is a good thing for us, but like, look, look at the storm. It's passing straight through my natural. Like, how am I? Enemy forces are supporting their champion psionically. They must be destroyed. How am I going to do that? Like, seriously. Because I can never get workers here, can I? I mean, I can attempt it. I think I just may have to very well just not get expansions. Because the storm is just gonna go straight through my drones. I mean, I can try and get the base going, I guess, and we can start pushing and all that, but... It's gonna be pretty, pretty difficult to properly get this to work. Okay, I guess we are moving it onwards right now. We gotta be careful, though. It's the bonus objective, or like like the champion is gonna spawn right here very soon. And taking that out is not going to be easy. I'll keep on making more queens though. I think queens are gonna be super good here. Just gotta be careful that I don't accidentally rally half my army away. Uh, I don't know if you can get expansions going though. I'm gonna make some workers. Hive cluster targeted oh, for okay. attack. I don't Massive think we can expand. Flows into Amon's champion from the hybrids. How am I gonna get over there? Hey, look at that. My drones are my drones are getting murdered. Okay. We're gonna have to try and move around this. Look at this! No! Heal, 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 heal! I healed them up right there for at least a second. I guess half of the storms don't actually damage though, that's one thing to keep in mind, they just sort of freeze in place. So that's that's not too terrible. Although they seem to damage as well. Okay. They're cloaked? I sent several elementals nearby. Their psionic bleeding is distracting me. Silence them if you have the forces to spare. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to have the forces to spare, I'm afraid, here, because this. This is looking like an absolute pain. This is going to be one base play. Right? I think. I mean, he's getting some workers, but I mean, he's he's also going to be losing all of it. How are we going to do this mission on Brutal when we only get to build one base? I mean, sure. Okay, let's let's start escorting it though. We need we need to have something here. How are we going to do this if we only have a single one available? I can start making the um, the incubation chamber, chamber right now, which will allow me to make multiple queens at once. Which is going to be helpful and all, but... I'm a little worried for how the outcome of this game is going to be. We'll just have to try and escort it to the best of our abilities and just dodge those storms. It's going to be a lot of babysitting. It's going to be a lot of babysitting here. Look at this! We can't even, we can't even stand still for a second. Oh no. Oh no, my army's way too slow for this sort of thing. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and attack. I think that may very well be helpful so I can trigger Ment. Okay. Man, oh man, there's a lot of stuff over here. My frame rate is not enjoying this nearly as much either, although there is certainly very little you can do in StarCraft to change that. Looks like we're killing most of the things that are over here though, so there's that, but... We'll have to move towards the... 
to watch the thing right there. Okay. I made some overlords though. But obviously I gotta be careful because my overlords just, you know, immediately die. Look at the vision range. It's so tiny. Oh man. We don't have a whole lot of anti-air here, other than uh, Zagara's abilities. And actually, he's adding in Hydra right now. Oh no, those are obviously Zagara's abilities. Okay. Okay, very good. I wonder if we should even tack up to a Hive, to be completely honest with you. We have obviously a lot of time. And that time we can use, but the amount of storms isn't gonna get smaller. We've got a couple of these units getting close to Brutalisk status, I guess, but... I'm liking this a lot though. I'm liking this a lot at this point. I think we're in a relatively good spot. We've done two of the more like difficult objectives. It's just that my army size is gonna get enormous. There's one more at the very end right there as well that may make it difficult. I shall be glad to be rid of it, but I would prefer you kill it instead. We need to probably just move with a single unit there instead. Here, take this. Take this storm. I'm gonna have to micro my main army here, but I'm gonna like only only move it forward with a single one. Sort of try and steer in the clear, I guess. Okay. I can make four queens at once right now. Oh no, don't get frozen. Don't get frozen, guys. I know you guys love that movie, but... Okay. Okay. Adding on as many swarm queens here as possible. And the swarm queens obviously are gonna be great for slowing down. Oh no. Dudes, no. I hate these detestable elementals. Eliminate them if you have the strength to spare. This is such a silly micro thing though. Because all my stuff is dying before it even gets to my army. I just used men there. It's because I had a lot of low HP units and they're all like very high in biomass. I'm just gonna go ahead and start pushing though. Do we still have some scans? Or uh, some... Uh, some overseers? I'm not sure. I don't think we do. Now I got a lot of corrosive bio which will still hit him no matter what, but... Enemy inbound must defend okay. cluster. Must defend Hive Cluster? I don't have time to defend a Hive Cluster right now, Abathur. Abathur, have you seen this mission? Have you considered that? Okay, well, I guess we'll have to go ahead and defend the Hive Cluster then. Man, I can't... I can't move back. I can't move back. I've got a very big army, I guess, but I, I just... I can't go back. Can you death? I hope you can go ahead and defend. Because I, I have no way of getting back. My my army is so slow. Okay, good. Good. Oh man. Oh man. Look at look at this! I can't go anywhere! <laughs> I was considering playing Carex, right? Which probably would make sense, but the fact of the matter is that our units have a lot of reduced vision range. And we need to move up here now. I mean, like, the thing is though, like, if you have a reduced vision range, right? Oh no. oh no, this is a huge storm. Oh man, are we gonna bypass the huge storm? Brilliant thinking, Loco. It's not like it damages you or anything. We have got no vision range. Oh well. We just have to kill the hybrid. That's really the main thing. It's down. Just leave, guys. Just leave. Oh, oh. Calm down. Calm down. Don't die. Okay. I'm reinforcing with more units now. Still have got no Brutalisk. Here you go, actually. All of his uh, aberrations are super low. 
Ment, Ment is turning out to be extremely good. I'm not gonna like deny that fact though. Ment of Abathur that basically heals everyone is extremely good. Our mastery points spent in that turn out to be very, very, very helpful. Now I got more reinforcing units coming in. Sort of have slowed down on the. Uh, the Slay it before it scurries away to breed. I don't care. I don't care about the breeding, Janara. This is not the time to talk about breeding. But like, uh, I, I was. I don't know, like I've slowed down a little bit on the queen production. I don't know if I should. It does heal up my units, obviously. They've got like automatic, you know, transfusion. You must destroy their encampment if I am to end this farce. Okay. Alright. Alright. Just rain the biles. Biles don't do friendly damage, by the way, in case you were wondering. Which is the reason why I'm allowed to spam this. In the multiplayer of the game, it's a little different. As I hope you are aware. Would not recommend biling your own units in the multiplayer. Where's this? There's a couple of lurkers just hanging out here. Dude, I'm trying. Okay. This actually, like, these cloak units are an absolute pain. Where is it? Did it die? Okay, here's the thing, though. There's one massive fight here in the back. I don't care about that attack on our base again anymore, Zagara. There's one massive fight right here in the back that's gonna be in like a very clumped up space. Apparently that brought like Infester as well. We'll just have to try and get on there. We'll just have to try and get on there, but it's gonna be... It's gonna be relatively tricky. Oh, here we go. Okay, once half of my units get vision range, apparently things are good, but... Just raining as many corrosive bios here as possible, and I'll start reinforcing this army as well. Nothing is actually really dying, though, because my queens are keeping everything alive super nicely. As you can see, they're super low in HP. And I think we may very well be able to do this right now, right here. I was actually, like, assuming that we wouldn't really be able to. Well, we do have a Brutalisk right now, which I can indeed, like, tunnel over there. We'll have to push back though. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to, uh, where is, where are they? We'll have to get over here. Okay. Well, obviously, move commanding is generally speaking not the way to go. Okay. I think we can as well do this. I think we may as well be able to do this right now. Come on. Dude, we need, we need, we need their army over there. Help, please. Because <laughs> it's pushing back like crazy right now because of this one overseer. Maybe I should just shoot it. There we go. Ah, there we go. I think that's it. I can morph in a couple more Ravagers, I guess, just in case. And as you can see, they morph super quickly. Turns out Ravagers really were super helpful here, as well as the Mend. Like, Mend I actually really, really like. And if I'm not mistaken, those like uh, final units right here in the back were indeed the last ones that we needed to make sure we get rid of. Right now, my units can definitely be flying around and jumping around like on a trampoline, or like like it's on a trampoline, I guess. And we're losing a lot of stuff, but my queens really help out a lot. Look at the size of this army, though. Compared to uh, compared to uh, Zagara's, Abathur's army always looks a little ridiculous. And while we didn't quite escort it the way like I managed to at some point on Brutal with Carex, it looks like we have indeed successfully pushed him into the pit. Kick him! Kick him, Janara! And so ends what a pathetic display. When the nice. Comes, I hope Alarak proves to be a more fitting challenge. Give me that sweet, sweet bonus experience. There we go. Give me those mastery levels. Very, very good, and what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do here as well, we get so much experience for that, is just immediately spend those points, just because I want to make sure that I get those, you know, spent uh, before uh, playing Abathur again, because I have the tendency to just queue up and never really realize that I had more points to spend, so there we go. But anyways, that is going to be the perfect storm on Brutal, completed. It actually went relatively easily, everything considered. I was assuming we're reading the rules and just playing the game, after seeing the early stages of the match and, you know, figuring out that we could only really play on a single base, that, we, that it was going to be significantly more difficult, but everything turned out to be A-OK. -okay. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't already, though, 
do make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content about this ne next week, do make sure you subscribe as well so you get a notification as soon as I upload the next Mutator mission. And other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next one. Boom!